audio. I need to check my audio levels. Oh, hey there. Hey guys, how's it going? Logan here. Welcome to the first annual Butler Brother Cook-Off. So you already know Casey is a fantastic cook. He's really good when it comes to the art of cooking on the mountain and at home. I've learned a lot from him, but it's time to take my game to the next level. The pupil surpasses the professor. We are uh, doing something a little fun. Um, so this first video, I'm gonna show you how I would like to prepare wild turkey. Now this is a bird that I harvested in Northern Idaho early this year, episode three of Turkey Quest. Um, I was lucky enough to harvest this, harvest this tom. Took the legs off, took the breasts off, soaked them in a little bit of salt water, not too salty of water, but soaked them in the water to pull out blood and to pull out feathers. And so now we are left with meat in the raw. I am going to be preparing turkey sliders and I'm also going to be preparing something I don't even really know the name of. Um, it's gonna be bacon wrapped turkey snacks, the long term for it. I already have been marinating the breast, both the breast and the leg in um, wishbone Italian dressing. So first things first, we have to get a seasoning, a bomb seasoning. We have black pepper, salt, garlic powder, paprika, and chili powder, just to give it a kick. So we're gonna make that seasoning up, pull these out of the marinade, pat dry them, and season them up, and we're gonna move on to the next step. So next up, we have our marinated turkey goodness. We have a, we have a breast in here, and also an entire leg that has been marinating in this Italian dressing, and it's feeling soft, and it's feeling ready. Now once again, don't feel like you have to follow this recipe to a T. This is just what I prefer. It's looking soft. You can tell that the leg meat is a little bit of a darker, darker meat, which will make this perfect for the sliders. So we're gonna go ahead and set that here on the paper towel. Pat dry that off just a little bit. That is a beautiful turkey leg. So here we have our breast looking magnificent. So that's another big thing with game meat, you guys, is uh, check for pellets, check for feathers. You want your final meat product to be as good as you can get it. That means as clean, as free of BBs, as free of feathers as you can possibly get it. Because hey, you know, you're gonna be eating it. As you can see, some of the, some of the chili flakes, some of the garlic is still on there. That's just fine. All right, so now we're gonna take our seasoning that we created together and we're gonna apply it to this fine meat here. Um, I'm kind of a seasoning guy. You, don't, you definitely don't want to over season these things, but you want to make sure they have enough to be able to tell, hey, somebody spent some time creating their own seasoning. So once again, just kind of evenly coating these. Once they're pretty evenly coated, on the first side, we're just gonna go ahead and press that seasoning down into that meat, like so. Press on there, make sure all that seasoning's gonna stick. That is looking good, okay. Oh, hi there. In case you didn't know, today we'll be working with the Camp Chef Woodwind 24 with Wi-Fi. Some of the awesome things about this grill is just the operating system. The screen, big next level move. And it's also awesome because I can sync this bad boy with my phone and be anywhere anytime still reading the readouts of the temperature and the probes so what we're going to do here is i'm actually going to take this leg this beautiful turkey leg you see right here that's been seasoned i got the sidekick heating up right now i'm going to throw some oil on there and we're going to sear both sides of this leg and place it in the smoker which i have set to 195 and just kind of low smoke it for the first couple hours to start the breakdown process when it comes to turkey legs what i've heard what I know is that one of the best ways to cook them is low and slow. There's a lot of tendons in the leg, it's a tougher meat, but it is definitely worth it if you have the patience. So I'm gonna take some of this Pompeian extra light olive oil, go ahead and get that cast iron nice and oiled up. I'm gonna take a paper towel, spread it around. You can already tell she's hot and ready to go. This is the money shot. Right there. You can go ahead and sear this leg, both sides. One to two minutes, just get that seasoning crust on there. So we'll have like a 
capsule that this leg will be in while we're cooking it slow on the smoker to hold in all the juices. All right, you guys, so update. I was able to sear both sides of that turkey leg. Um, got a nice crust on there. I just love the sear to slow cook method. I feel like it helps kind of make a capsule around the piece of meat you were working with. And then when you slow cook it, it holds all those juices in. So I already had the woodwind rolling to about 190, 180. Um, threw that leg on there and inserted not one, but two probes. The nice thing with the woodwind is it's ready to go for up to four probes. So I figured might as well use two. So I inserted one into the knee region, the thicker part of the meat there then also one into the upper thigh meat region. So I'm getting a better guess of that exact internal temp. Um, the nice thing about that woodwind is once I threw that on the smoker, this is gonna be kind of a process. So I am inside helping Brian um, update some of our products on www.gethushin.com. And I am also monitoring the smoker from my phone, which is nice. So we're at exactly 163 on the inside. I turned it down to low smoke um, we're gonna let those things roll for a while. I'm gonna let those internal temps get up to around 140, 150, and I'm gonna pull those, pull it off the smoker, and we're gonna move on to the next step. I took the breast and uh, same seasoning that I applied on the leg, I applied on the breast. That's kind of my all purpose seasoning. Um, I took that breast and put it into another Ziploc with some olive oil, mixed it around, zipped it shut, and that's gonna just be chilling in the fridge, ready to go when we get to that portion of the recipe video. All right, you guys, it has been about two and a half, three hours. Um, the leg is still doing great out on the smoker. If you think I'm talking a little quietly, it's because our baby is sleeping, taking his nap, and we don't wanna wake him up. So ran to the store, got the rest of the ingredients I needed. Catalina dressing, bone broth, chicken broth, spicy brown mustard, honey, whole cranberries, minced garlic, Lipton onion soup packet, two white onions, blue cheese crumbles, brown sugar, bacon, of course, King's Hawaiian rolls. We're doing sliders, we want good, small, tasty rolls and they are the best. And uh, right now, I'm just gonna prep the crock pot. I am going to cut up this, cut up one white onion into bigger chunks so I can line the bottom of the crock pot with those so that the leg doesn't burn. Plus, they'll caramelize in the process and they'll be very tasty. So once I line the bottom of the crock pot with the onions, I will go get the leg, plop it in there, add some bone broth and some chicken broth to taste. I like a little bit more bone broth than chicken broth. And then we're just gonna put that bad boy on low for the next three to four hours, probably about four hours. If I was going just crock pot, I'd probably go seven hours, but since we're pre-smoking it, getting all those flavors from the smoker locked in, we won't have to cook on the crock pot as long as if you were to do just a crock pot. I have lined the bottom of the crock pot with onions, threw a little olive oil on the bottom, mixed the onions in with that, so now, we are going to apply this, and my lovely assistant here is gonna hold the camera. <laughs> so we're gonna take our beautiful, partially smoked turkey leg here. We're just gonna lay that nicely in the pot right above the onions. And I use a bone broth. This is concentrate, so you don't need to use a ton. So I'll put a little bit on top of the chicken, on top of the turkey leg, then do the rest with this uh, chicken broth. So just a little bit of that on the leg like so. Our chicken broth and apply some of that too. Now you don't want to do too much, but enough that she's cooling. So we'll do about that much, just like that. This lid actually has clamps on the tops just to make sure our little turkey doesn't run away. So we have our onions, bone broth, chicken broth, turkey leg in there, it's on low. It's clamped shut and that boy, bad boy is gonna sit for about four and a half, five hours until she's really breaking down. We'll give you guys an update then. All right, you guys, we are at about that two hour mark and it smells amazing. Um, I took this time right now to kind of mix up the barbecue sauce. I don't know if you could call it a barbecue sauce, but just kind of the secret sauce for these sliders. Half a can of whole berry cranberries, um, bottle of Catalina dressing, Lipton soup mix packet, and then a little bit of soy sauce. And I even threw in some uh, minced garlic to kind of pull those flavors together. But super simple, super easy. I did it in a shaker bottle because you can store this when you're done, use it for other things. Um, but easy to shake up, no mess. Turkey is looking fantastic. Get a quick look here 
As you can see, it's already starting to peel off the bone down there, and that's what you want. It's breaking down really nicely. I flipped it and drizzled the broth and onion juices over top of it. So we're gonna give that guy another two hours, two and a half hours. And uh, I turned it up to high, just cause I wanna kinda speed this process up. But once that's done, we're gonna pull that out, shred the meat, drain the broth, and I'll show you that step then. Also, right after we do that, we're gonna start in on the second recipe involving brown sugar and honey. Um, I'll see you guys when I'm shredding up this turkey leg. Goodness. Uh, baby update. Handsome. We had them all dressed nice for the video. And that's what happens when you drink too much milk. <laughs> he, he's doing all right. Um, so update on the turkey. Uh, pulled the leg out, put the leg onto a plate and shredded it like you would anything else. So then I had a bowl of shredded turkey. The next step was I set that bowl aside. I got a mug and was sure to scoop out some of the au jus sauce or stock that was that the turkey leg had marinated in in the crock pot. So I had a cup of that and then I strained the rest of it and pulled out those caramelized onions. And you wanna hang on to those. They're very, very tasty. Um, I minced those up very, very fine. Not all of them, I used about 75% of them. Minced those up fine, put those back in the crock pot on low in the now empty crock pot, put the turkey in, put the secret sauce, not too much, cause you still wanna have that turkey flavor, but the secret sauce over top of that. And then I poured that broth that I had set aside over the turkey. The turkey is currently in the crock pot shredded and honestly it's ready to go. But I'm just gonna let that sit and stay on warm, kind of hydrate itself, get that juicy consistency. And I'm gonna start the second entree that will go on the plate. All right, so what we are going to do is once again, we are going to pat dry our meat. We have our turkey breast that has been sitting in the fridge since this morning. We seasoned and put olive oil in there so it's nice and juicy. Do kind of a pat dry, get some of that oil off. So now that we have our turkey breast, pat dried, smells amazing and it's raw. We're gonna take our chef's knife here and we are just gonna cut against the grain is what you wanna do. You're gonna want tender turkey for what we are about to do with these bad boys. So cut chunk size about that big, one about that big. And you can see the muscle fibers you can actually see the muscle fibers. And so I'm not cutting this way, the way they're running, I'm cutting that way so you can see all of them. That's about the size you're looking for. Go ahead and get this all cut up. And look at that beautiful turkey meat. And this recipe is actually called Gobbler Poppers. That'll probably be enough for us. And I'm gonna put all this extra into another Ziploc. I'm gonna cook this tomorrow. I'm gonna fry it. It's for the kids, kids show. We're gonna take brown sugar. Some of the best, sweetest stuff in the world. We're gonna add about, about that much. Nothing too cray cray. And to that, we are gonna add chili powder right there into the mix. So now we got our chili powder, we got our brown sugar. We're gonna kind of mix that around and add a little bit more chili powder here. Now that we got that, kind of make a little bed like so. Now comes the bacon. And I'm gonna make a cut right down the middle of the average sliced bacon, so like so. We're gonna incorporate the toothpicks. I think you guys already know where I'm going with this. We're gonna get our first slice ready. We're gonna get our dry rub. I'll show you guys one real quick chunk of turkey, like so, onto the bacon. We are just gonna roll this bad boy up like so. Enter in Mr. Toothpick. We are gonna go directly through that bad boy. So just like so. Give you guys a nice spin there. And we're gonna take that and we're gonna cover it up with the brown sugar, chili powder, brine. Just like so. Not brine, sorry, dry rub. Whatever you wanna call it. We're gonna put it in the deliciousness and spread it around even. So that's what we're working with right there. Nice little kebab looking deal. And that guy is gonna go directly in the pan like so. And I'm gonna go ahead and fill this pan up with those. Then we're ready for the next step. 
Alrighty, I got the rest of those gobbler poppers rolled up and ready to go. And my goodness, they look pretty freaking tasty, just not even cooked. So after I got those guys all rolled up, covered them up with tin foil and got the Camp Chef Woodwind popped up to 350. So you can do this either in your oven or on your smoker. Um, I have mine at 350 and we're gonna put these bad boys in there for about 30 minutes. At minute 20, I'll pull the top and if they're looking right, I'm gonna go ahead and drizzle a little bit more brown sugar and honey, cover them up, put them in for the last 10 minutes and we're ready to eat. So the gobbler poppers have been on for about 20 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and pull them and if they're ready, we're gonna give them some of this raw unfiltered, raw unfiltered honey local hive from Utah. Pull the top back on these bad boys. Let's see where we're at. Oh yeah. Gosh, that smells good. Throw this honey right over the top of all these bad dogs. Those look really good. I didn't even pay her to say that. <laughs> Alrighty. And now I'm gonna put them back on, but this time top stays off. We're going topless. Kid show. Give those bad boys another 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. And what I'm gonna do right now, is follow me. I'm going to get some butter, throw it on this sidekick. And uh, we're gonna take the King Hawaiian rolls that I purchased. If you're ever gonna make sliders, make sure to go with King Hawaiian, it's the best. And uh, I'm gonna brown those up so they're nice and crispy, ready to go. We'll pull those and we're about to eat. We'll see ya when we're ready to eat. All right, we have pulled our gobbler poppers. King Hawaiian buns looking just perfect. We're gonna throw some of the special sauce pulled turkey onto these buns, get some gobbler poppers on there and have more try them. All right, you guys, and there you have it. That is my take on wild turkey. I went with turkey sliders and gobbler poppers. I finished the sliders off with a crumble blue cheese, some crispy onions, and some spicy mustard. So that is my video. Casey's video just went live on the same exact channel, our channel. Go check it out. He does his recipe as well. We did not know what each other was gonna cook. Luckily, we cooked different things. Now it is your job to go watch his video and comment and rate what you believe the video, recipe, and final product deserved on a scale of one to 10. Maybe it's a 6.7, maybe it's a 9.2. Make sure to comment on his video and also comment below what you rate my recipe. I had my beautiful wife Morgan try mine. She gave me a rating and Casey had his son Gage try his and Gage gave him a rating. So we will decide tomorrow who the wild turkey cook-off champion is. Thanks for watching you guys. Hope you learned something. Try this recipe at home. We'll see you tomorrow. Go give me a good rating guys. I really tried hard.